Okay, well that escalated rather quickly. <laughs> Well, it has been a few weeks since I made the trek down to Maryland. We are here today in Thurmont, and um, it's about 10.30 in the morning. I feel good about getting here at 10.30. Normally, I don't roll in until like noon. Um, but we're gonna head in and see what we can find by and flip for profit. Here we go. Well, it looks like we've got the hard goods section all to ourselves, so this is exciting. I'm gonna start in the figurines. That's where we usually start. And here's this little lady. I'm checking over her flowers. It looks like there's some damage on her top flowers. So I'm going to leave her behind. Today I've decided that I'm going to be more selective. But here I am looking at this Windy Meadows. Let's see if it is Windy Meadows. Was I right? Apparently. Oh yeah, Windy Meadows Pottery. So I come across these a lot. And unfortunately, it's very common for the edges of the roof to be damaged. Such is the case here. So that's kind of a shame because the front of it is nice. Here I said I was going to be selective on that, but um, I have a thing for Wendy Meadows Pottery. 549. So this still has some value. I think I'm going to grab it. Okay, so I was just chatting with one of the ladies who work here about the new Goodwill that is opening this weekend. By the time you're seeing this, it will have already opened. Um, but she said the prices are really good in there. So I'm excited to check it out, but I probably won't be there when they first open because, as you guys know, I'm not really a fan of crowds. And when Goodwill has these grand openings, it's always extremely crowded. Um, and there's a lot of people that show up for those. So I'll wait a little while and then I'll probably take you guys there. I like this bowl. It is signed on the bottom. It's a nice studio art pottery. It's $8.50 though, so I'm not sure about that. Here is a carved bear. Oh no, maybe he's made of resin. He's made to look carved. I feel like I've had this guy before, one similar to that. Here we've got some glassware. Here is a wedding box. I'll show you how it works. I find these from time to time, but you can stack them like that on top of the lid. This one appears to be flash color. I think this is flash. I mean, the flash is in really good condition. It's not really wearing off. Here, I'm gonna set this over here because I'm going for that red dish. It's not sure. I mean, there is a little bit of money to be made there, but I'm not gonna grab that. This one is $19.50. This one is also flash, but the flash is really nice on that. I just noticed this angel here, but it's kind of weird looking. Very small head, I guess. Galveston Islands. This kitten is adorable. It looks like it could be Homeco. <laughs> you don't really need a tiny thing. This is adorable. What's say? Made in Taiwan. I have a UGA. That is kind of an interesting shape. One of those uh, bread things. I think this is for bread and oil. Sand and Seas collection. The sale. Interesting. A few glass bake dishes. Those are actually pretty nice, but I don't see the lids hanging around in here. And is that one Spice of Life? It looks like it is. a sad little fridgy. Could probably be brought back to life with um, Barkeeper's Friend. $6.50. We got a lid though. And I actually have two at the shop that I got at auction. Oh, look at that ship decanter. I think I've bought this one before. Not like this one, but one very similar. It didn't do incredibly well, so I'm not really all that excited about getting another one. I kind of like the pattern on that, and I was noticing that, as I thought, didn't I see, I guess, maybe those, yeah. Those are the matchy match. I like that pattern. Corel. 
by Corning. I don't know what that powder name is, though. I've never seen that one before. I noticed this dome over here, and I like the looks of it. $12.49. I'm going to stick that. It's too big to fall through the flap, so don't freak out. I don't know if this would be a cheese dome. That would be my guess. There's a marking on the bottom. It says Karen something. <laughs> B-O-U-R. That's all I got. But I really love the pattern on that. So I think for $12.50, I'll buy it. I could still make a little bit of money on that. Lots of teacups. This is a sugar, but there is no... Um, there's no creamer to go with it, so we're not going to mess with that. Those are kind of cute. There's a pair of them. $3.50. Do they have with their pain? No. <laughs> I like the handles on them. Those are cute handles that geisha wear. You can see the geishas on there. This, I learned from you guys, is for garlic. It's like a garlic grater grater plater there you go um, I've actually sold two of these in the past but they were made in Spain this one you can see is made in China if it was made in Spain I would have I probably would have bought it I can usually get about 18 to 24 dollars per plate sure this one has real heavy silver overlay but you can see there is a boo-boo there on the bottom okay well that escalated rather quickly <laughs> I happened to be just standing um, and talking with a viewer, and she actually pointed these out to me. She said she doesn't need them, but hey, look at those longer burgers. So um, here is a bunch of them. These ones actually have the plastic inserts, and I don't think that's unreasonable. I don't do much with longer burger at all, um, but I feel like that's rather reasonable. This is the basket. I don't know if it's a purse or a basket, and this one has on it. 1992, handle woven Dresden, Ohio. And then this one. So they're kind of all matchy matchy. $9.50 on that. I feel like I could still make a little bit of money. I wanted to get a closer look at this guy. I thought it was going to be heavier. I don't know if you caught that. <laughs> I had to go lift it and it wasn't that heavy. Let's check out the mugs, shall we? 99 cents on that one. That looks familiar. Maybe I've looked at that one before. I don't know. I have to remember to check the bottom shelves. Here's some Corel. There are the mugs that go with those plates. So I'm browsing the upper um, shelves to see if I can come across any more longer. Burger. This one is nice. What is this? Wooden handle? I'm going to pull that down. I'm not sure if this is a sewing basket. It's pretty nice construction, but unfortunately you can see the whole side of it is busted out. So I'm going to stick that one back up on the shelf. Hand painted Japan. There's quite a few plates there. They brought out a few more things while I was chatting. <laughs> I kind of like those farmer plates. I have no idea who makes those and there's no markings on them. <laughs> but those are fun. Kathy Davis, I feel like I've looked at similar things before. I was going to dig for those plates underneath, but I don't think they're really worth it. That's a fun handle. Looks like somebody painted these, though. I love the flowers on this. There's only one of them. If there was another one, I might go for it. I think it's a goblet. I thought maybe it was for a candle, but I think it's actually a goblet. Puerto Rico. This is nice. I thought maybe it was Grace's. I don't know if Grace's is sold at TJ Maxx. My barn sold that before. It is contemporary, though. Bless your heart. <laughs> okay, well, let's see what we've got over 
here on this shelf. The last time I was here, they had a nice Cracker Barrel set, but that seems to have moved on. This kind of reminds me of those glass heads. <laughs> it's not. What is this? That's weird. It's hand blown. You can see the pontal scar on the bottom. But it's like satin finish, and I don't know, it's kind of globby. I'm not really sure what's going on there. I don't hate it, but it's a little too weird for me. <laughs> that is Pepsi. That looks like a weird painted Coke bottle. Oh my gosh, <laughs> I almost knocked that off the shelf. <laughs> I like the shape of this. I'm not sure if that's a gravy or not. All right. Let's go around the corner and see if I can find anything else. I do want to check this up here. Since I found out those long burgers, I don't want to really neglect the baskets too much. Gosh, look at this m and phone. I wonder how much they have on that. Wow, that was behind me. Seventeen forty-nine. I wonder how much something like that would be. Looks like they have all their legs and all of their arms. Does it work? I don't know. I think I'm gonna try to look this up. Oh, I'm gonna stick it in my basket and look it up real quick. Here is the wood section. Lots of rolling pins. Don't really need a rolling pin right now, though. Here we go. I actually had a viewer show me this earlier, and she asked, do you want it? I'm like, you know what, if it's there when I get over there, maybe I'll pick it up. So this is made in Mexico, you can kind of tell by the way the it's carved. And I have bought and sold these before. The tiles are green. Um, the ones I've come across are a lot more colorful. Could probably use a little bit of um, like old English or something. Seven dollars and fifty cents. Mm, you know, I'll pick that up for seven dollars and fifty cents. Now I am making my way back around the corner to put this back. I looked it up, and there are some that are asking, like I think thirty bucks, but none have sold. So if they're asking thirty um, on eBay and it's seventeen fifty, I don't think there's really enough room there. Here we are in lamps. This guy is unfortunately missing his, um, his whatever, his golf club. Yeah, that's, <laughs> but I do really love this. This is contemporary. It is pretty though. This is kind of cute. Gosh, it's like a little mini fridge. What? How does it work? It's got one of these. A cigarette lighter. My kids are like, mom, what does that thing do? That, children, is a cigarette lighter. What is this? Oh wait, I have to do one of these one. There we go. Look at how cute that is. I'm just looking at what we've got to work with over here. So I think this would be wall plug. I think Juliet would enjoy having one of those in her room. And I think there's this new fashion in videos on YouTube or Instagram or TikTok or whatever, where they, they buy these little mini fridges and then they stock them. I don't know. I think I'm gonna grab it for five dollars and fifty cents. Then I'll have to find um, power cord for it. But Juliet would love that. All right, so this is what we're working with so far. My next stop is over in the Halloween. We're gonna see what we can find there. Then I'll probably get out of here. Actually, check out these teapots that she just put out. What hours are they going to have? Good hours still? Uh, the same hours as we do. That's Gibson. 9 to 7 It's in good condition, to too. Maybe I'll pick that up. Okay, well, they just wheeled out a new cart, and I kind of looked it over. I didn't see anything. Um, I don't think I'm going to wait around to see what ends up on the shelves because I think I'm going to get out of here. I do need to check out the baggies and then I'm going to head off and uh, check out the Halloween. I don't see anything here. Um, they have decorations and party and arts and crafts and so I don't think I'm going to really find anything here. 
Ooh wee, what do we have here? Heck yeah, $4.50. What? That's crazy. <laughs> it's funny, I actually saw a woman walk by with this and I was like, oh, I wish I would have got that. And I, obviously she was putting it on the shelf. That's wonderful. That's the second blow mold I have found here. Yeah. There's not as much on the shelves as there was the last time. Oh, wait a second. I actually bought two uh, candles um, a few visits ago. <laughs> Decorative candles like this. And uh, this guy's fun. I love these fun Halloween candles. So I think I'm going to grab all of them. Candle holder. Let's see what we've got in here, shall we? Oh, that's kind of fun. What is it? It's a kitty cat. It's made of resin. Oops. There's also a, a ghost in there. I'm not sure what's going on there, but I don't think I'm going to grab that. But we'll put it away and stick it there. This one has a ghost, a witch ghost. Kind of looks like a candle topper. Hmm. Oh my gosh, is this a seat cover? Oh my goodness, I remember these. I don't know how anybody sat on these. That would be so uncomfortable, but I remember them. That's funny. There's uh, that troll person. Lots of leaves on the shelf. I have started listing my Halloween stuff. At least I started photographing it yesterday. By the time you're seeing this video, I probably have some of it listed. So now I am looking the shelves over from the other side. <laughs> he looked neat from the other side of the shelf. Oh look, it's one of those. Is this one of the newer ones though? I don't think that this is one of the originals. This is made in China. <laughs> All right, there is a ghost and some costumes. What are these? Those look like they're, yeah, I was gonna say made in China. There are a ton of purses here. What are these? I was gonna say that's a weird purse, but whatever. <laughs> This looks like Brighton, right? Am I learning? No, I'm not, clearly. <laughs> Over here, I saw this guy, and I may have looked, I may have looked at this before. I think maybe I look at this every single time. Open. Or any book. This one is Style and Company, so that is not Whitey and Davis. That's wacky looking. One of those Ugg boots. Is it? I don't know. Okay, so I was going to push this aside to do a cart review, but I feel like I was pretty selective today, so I don't really think there's necessarily a need for a cart review. I did, yeah! <laughs> I was really excited. It's my second one I found here. So I think on that note, I'm going to head up towards the checkout. And I'll get back to you guys in the car. Okay, well, we are back in the car, and my total spend was $92. Um, I was really excited about that blow mold. That was kind of like a last minute, like, yes. <laughs> uh, that's the second blow mold I have found here. The first one smelled very strongly of cat urine. I did the sniff test on this one. There's no cat urine smell, so I think we're in the clear. Uh, but that one will probably end up on my front porch with my other blow molds. I ran into a lot of viewers today and I thought that was absolutely fantastic. We kind of got to chatting over what they had in their cart and what they were looking at and that was nice. Um, but I think I'm gonna get out of here now. I think I'm gonna head on down the road and uh, I'm gonna hit up another Goodwill, but I'll see all of you tomorrow. So long. I know it's nothing new, but it's so good to see you.